Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee. Welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario 2 Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we got out of the Exnot Fortress and did some extra stuff in order to prepare for the final level. Yay. Also, something that I probably should mention is that when I got off of the episode last time, I actually equipped a couple of badges. Or, I think it was a couple. I equipped a new badge and discarded one of the other ones I didn't need. So yeah, there you go. Something I probably should mention right now while I'm heading to the Thousand Year Door, which is where we need to go, and I should have mentioned this last time I forgot, is that that Summer Final Fantasy thing I was talking about in one episode ago, or a few episodes ago, I decided to cancel it. The reason why is kind of a bit hard for me to really admit, but when I came up with the idea like a summer ago, I actually was really excited about doing it and stuff, but what I didn't take into account was that it was actually going to cost me money because I need to get some recording equipment I don't need, or actually do need, I mean. And my quality isn't as good as I would like it to be. And, yeah. Sorry to say I'm not going to be able to do it this, or probably not be able to do it, probably not going to be able to do it this summer. I might do it next summer if I can. However, as of right now, I don't know. So, yeah. Sorry, I apologize. But, yeah. Well, anyway, alchemy time! The final time! Oh, this is gonna be so awesome! Crockety, look at the door! Oh goody, the door's gonna open! Whoa! Um... 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 Yay? Oh, that is not a good sign. Why are we going in there? At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened! Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world, you must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm! Into the breach, Mario! That is not a good sign. And there was that black smoke. Oh, I'm going in! Wish me luck! And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the most unoriginal name for a chapter ever. The Thousand Year Door. Very unoriginal. And that does not look good, and that sound effect was not very good. Oh, help us all. This place is rather ugly. But we haven't a choice in the matter, oh boy. Let's get in there and save Peach before this hullabaloo goes any further. Let's go, dear boy. Oh, yeah. oh you bet. Oh, this is not going to be good. And now that I think about it, you know how we've been having all this thing where we had to get all the crystal stars and stuff and getting almost all of them required, required going through a whole... How did I strike first? Never mind. It's quite a great, or great ordeal in order to get through to this area, and then all of a sudden now we have, I'm guessing, another maze, like, or another dungeon. It seems kind of unnecessary. Well, that's probably just me. Uh-oh. Wasn't expecting them to use that so quickly. Oh, great. Well, at least he can't go over his... Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna use the spin jump on you and kill you immediately. That wasn't so bad. Probably shouldn't have had Bobbery out, though. That would really help any. 
Oh yeah, something I should also mention about this level. It is highly recommended that bef Well, never mind. I was going to say something that would be kind of a spoiler as of right now. I'll get into what I was going to say later, but as of right now, just note that you really want to have a lot of star points for later. Anyway, cutting this fight, I guess. Unless I finish... Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to cut this, because this is rather quick. Uh-oh. Uh yeah. Ah. That would have been nice. Even though I probably didn't need it. Oh, thank you, fire. That just got him right down to where I need him. Whoa, yes. Something that should probably be noted is that the enemies here at this level, I guess, where I am right now, give off a lot of star points, so... Yay. And I don't know how I keep getting all these first strikes. I don't have a badge quit that allows me to do that. It must be the stairs or something. Well, anyway, cutting this fight. Alright, I had to go out for a little bit. Get out of the area, I mean, because I needed to get some um, equipment. Or not equipment, but some items that I didn't have earlier. That I realized is in the middle of that fight that I needed, so I came back here and just kind of skipped past all the enemies, so yay. Hooray for forgetfulness, and ooh, Judy Star, that's a good item. Oh, whoa. And as you can plainly see, there are some uh, dry bones here, although I think they're called something else. These types, I mean. And if I remember correctly, I think they're weak against fire. Or maybe, maybe it was explosion. I can't remember which, but these guys are definitely weak against um, something. And it is not fire. Okay. Something I should mention about these guys is that, as you can see right there, even though not that guy out, he is still there. The reason why is because if he stays on the field for too long, he can regenerate. So you want to get rid of them as fast as you can, like I just did there. And yes, the explosions are what... They are weak to explosions, that's what it was. That's what I was trying to figure out what they were weak against. Or maybe not. Huh. I do know that they're weak against something, but for some reason... I forget it. Alright, anyway. This area looks suspiciously like something familiar that I actually hated. Oh crap, I hear them! I don't know if you heard it, but I heard the infamous sound of a kaboom from uh, one of those bullet bill cannons. Indeed, I was right. Ah. Uh. I'm going to beat one of these guys, and then I'm just going to skip to where I get to the cannons themselves. So if you don't mind, I'm going to be cutting the fights after this one. I really hate bullet bill cannon things. Or at least in this game. Alright. He's going to be cutting to where I get to those guys, so we'll see you in a second. Aha! I did it! Aha! I'm actually gonna show that because that was a really smart idea. I'm doing that from now on. Eat it, bullet bills! No more! I'm not taking any more. Aha! I think I've lost my mind. Well, then again, I probably already lost it anyway, so never mind. Um, let's see what happens if I use the HP drain on one of these guys. Oh, what do you know it works? For a second, I thought I won it, but hey. No one's perfect. Please do. Oh crap! Expected to do more than that, but then again, hmm. I'm halfway tempted to use that shooting star I have up here. I'm also halfway tempted to actually use the bomb bomb blast. You know what I am, considering I have. Well, I'm gonna do it considering I have quite a few HP. Or I forget it. Don't know what I was trying to say there. See if I can use a super hammer on these guys, and that should take care of them. Yes! Just enough! Ten! Five from each one, that's pretty nice. I only have 35 more to go until I get the next level up and I can regenerate all my things I lost. Whoa! Okay, this area right here, um, I don't know exactly what to call it, 
But you have to be careful because these spikes, as you can see, will pop up whenever um, you get close to them. So I would recommend that you be very cautious here, and I'm also going to cut the spike. Well, that was quick. There's only one of those guys, and that was something. Alright, come on. Alright. You have to be very careful around where this door is, because they have a really narrow area right here. And that should do it. Yay! Haha! -ha. I remember somewhere that there was like a little map I have somewhere for that thing, but it doesn't really matter, because as you can see, that wasn't that big a deal. And, whoa! I think these fireballers act the same way they do in the past game, where if you jump over them enough times, they'll go so fast that they'll disintegrate and become coins, but I'm not really... You know, actually, I'm going to test it. I'm going to see if my theory is right. It seems like it's going faster. Oh, it's definitely going faster. Oh. Yay! Yep. Oh, one of these. Okay. Yep. There we go. Don't really remember what I was trying to say right there, but I don't care. Whoa! That did a lot of damage! So these guys are weak against the explosions. Nice! And 73! Woohoo! Now let's see here. You can just stand right here and stuff and not get hurt, which is really nice. Whoa! Oh, don't send me all the way back here. You know what, now that I think about it, I think I've probably spent a lot of time here. Or, I think I've spent enough time on this episode, I mean. So I think I'm going to cut this episode off here. I'm Liam Frisbee, and I'll see you in the next episode when we try to get through more of the Shadow uh, Temple place, whatever. Alright, bye.